Hey everybody, Steven here, and for those that follow the development of Subnautica Below Zero, you may have noticed on Twitter today they did a post saying that um, they're going to change and restructure how they're doing everything on Favreau, which is essentially the roadmap for the game. So if you click on the link, I'm not going to read this kind of verbatim, I'm going to put a link for it so you guys can read it, but I want to touch on a couple things. One of the big ones is, um, if you look on their just the layout has changed just a little bit. They're really just highlighting things that they're focusing on that they know are going to be in the game. Um, and they're not putting a lot of other things on there that they're not quite sure if it's going to make it to the game or not. Because one of the things that they say on here, we could look out ahead for months and see piles and piles of work, but it wasn't always clear what the game what where the game was. So um with that they're wanting to focus on the things that they know that are going to be in the game versus just piling up a bunch of different things and feeling overwhelmed i'm assuming by that based off of what i'm reading on here so um big thing that i see here too is moving forward the plan is to use the roadmap primarily to plan only what is highlighted for a release so it says if you look forward to EA6, you'll see that the, so early access 6, you'll see that we are currently only highlighting the Ice Worm and Arctic Spires at the moment. That just allows them to focus on the thing that they know that it's going to be in the game. Um, the new plan is to add things to the column as they become ready to show versus where they would just have a bunch of different things and then you would see later like, oh, like for instance the Ice Dragon's getting cut, which sucks. That was one of my things I was really looking forward to but uh, hopefully with more time it will make it into the game I don't know but I did know that I do know that I, I saw via an, another um, I believe it was either comment on my channel or somewhere else where they're saying they just got back from their retreat and that was where they kind of made some of the de decisions on what was going to make it or not um, it says right now it's because the next big thing is how does that affect release date? And it says, uh, right now we're in the back half of Below Zero production. Our next big internal milestone is content completion on October 31st, 2019, which is just uh, four months away. Um, but it says, with all that said, we don't intend to work on Below Zero forever because they want to make sure that this is going to obviously make it to Xbox and PlayStation and all those other things. Um, but their current goal is to ship 1.0 in early 2020. And it says, yes, we're being intentionally vague. Um, so if you follow the Fabro deal, it said this was going to get released in October. I don't know because there's a difference here where it says uh, our next big internal milestone is content complete on October 31st and I don't know if that means beyond that if they're looking at an early 2020 release that they're going to polish the game up and, and really figure out what this thing is going to be <clears throat> or if that means like hey we need to get the main content of the game done the story everything like that done now let's fine tune everything and make sure that that was what the game actually has in it um so they're being vague it says they don't want an arbitrary date on the calendar same thing it's just if they put that and they have to be held to it and then you end up doing something where you're like hey we gotta push it back we gotta push it back we gotta push it back so i understand that um with this i do want to go over to the favreau site here in a second but um big shift here i've been noticing that they've just been updating stuff pretty consistently this last week um, in the experimental build so what was interesting is on the Favreau side, I was actually able to track down some of the changes that they made with the uh, purple um, crystal caves. The word actually directly says, like, make sure you cap these areas off so that people can't get in there. Um, <clears throat> so kind of a bummer that it's getting pushed back, but I know that just means that the game is going to be better. And right now you already have access to it while they're making it. So more time means more polish more things end up in game so i am all for that so um looking right now we have ea5 right here the marge encounter number two precursor fabricator base story and then the precursor fabricator base here doesn't actually say anything in terms of 
what it means now. It says backlog project roadmap new July 2019. EA number five July 2019 pro project roadmap is old. So I don't know if that means this is getting pushed back. We'll see. Um, some of the things that they're talking about ending up in game is still here. So I'm assuming that this is completely being revamped and updated in terms of this is holding true now versus we're looking at EA5 is this month and it's going to be these things in game versus being cut. I say that with the notion that maybe some of these things are ultimately going to get bumped. Well, maybe it's EA6 or EA7. Um, hopefully not, but there are more things that I have seen that they've added that seem really, really cool, but um, we'll scroll down on some of that stuff uh, here in a second. Um, some of the big things, I'm going to do a separate video, but uh, Jukebox is high, pro, uh, high priority control room, glass dome, large base room, uh, mini moon pool says cut on there, so that unfortunately won't end up in the game, but um, I'm hoping those things and then the precursor fabricator base, I haven't seen that yet in the experimental build. Um, let's see. The Shadow Leviathan is supposed to be in this one. We'll see on that. Um, it's been in the experimental build for a while now, but um, we've seen a huge chunk of things done. And then now we're looking at backlogs right and this is what they were talking about it just they don't want to be held to this where they're rushing to get it done um, crystal uh, caverns fabricator caverns um, sea truck customization final release trailer um, I'm hoping this makes it in it <laughs> the new shark type the hidden croc um, cryptosaur succus saurus was one of the names for it without me clicking on it to look it up um, so we have a backlog there doing, and this is what I wanted to see if I could find some of the other big things. So cool things that we're, we're getting in this here hopefully pretty soon. Um, the large glass dome, so basically some of the uh, deals with, and that's massive. Um, that's in game I believe right now too. Um, not the glass dome, but that one of Marge's uh, bases, uh, Margaret's bases, has that building in it. But they have that for that. They have it for. If I can scroll down and find it, they have it on basically some of the main base components that you fabricate. You can actually put a glass dome on top of it, which is really cool. And I'm going to let you guys sort through this. I'm going to have to go back up. Here it is. Now you're looking at color um, changes that you can do to your base, which I think is really, really cool. So I think subtle things like that, I mean, they need a little bit more time to do stuff like that. It's just, like I said, it's just going to make the game so much better. But if I can find where it is, we saw the yellow one there. I've seen images also. Might be all the way towards the top. We're there showcasing. So here's another glass dome, uh, multi-purpose room, right? But these are these are bugs. <laughs> they have uh, right here. So we can see that the color color's been completely changed on it. So it's yellow. Oh, what is that? There it is. These are scanner rooms. Changes look crazy. So we have that. I don't know if I'll find any more. There was a red one somewhere. But more customization with everything. Um, I know that the... If it already isn't in game, because I'm not playing the story, I've been holding off because I want to do it as like one big chunk um, but looking at the cold suit the cold suit gloves there we go we have another yellow base right there little things like that um, that they're adding right now too 
I don't know if it's in in game right now, but uh, you can spawn it in um, the command uh, console commands if you decide that you want to do that. So right now, yeah, bummer. It's getting pushed back a little bit, but hopefully that just means it's a better game. Um, I'll have the link for this so you guys can sort through all this. As you can see, it's almost like overwhelming because there's so much stuff on this. And I think that was kind of their point with the post, which is there's just so much stuff piling up. Like, And I know their teams, I mean, it's not massive. It's, it's decent size, but it's not like these huge um, companies that have 150, 200 people on a team doing all of this. So... Uh, that's going to get overwhelming for certain people where it feels like they have to hit this mark. All right, this thing's coming out in September. You have to have this done. And if it's not ready, it's not ready. If you rush it into it, it's going to only present more problems, and then you have more bugs that you're going to fix, and then it just turns into a whole thing. So keeping fingers crossed that uh, we get the EA release number five at some point this month. I don't know if that means that changes because they kind of have it still as July, August, September, October, and then 1.0 release. We'll see, and I don't know if by October it's completely released and then they're going to do more additions and then it'll be the final hurrah release after that. We'll see, but I will have the link for this so you guys can read through this. And then the Fabro say it as well so that you can look through all of this because Let's scroll through the, like, <laughs> there's a ton of stuff on here um, that you can scroll through and you could spend a good portion of time just looking at uh, stuff over here too, metal detector, precursor tether, flashlight helmets in the game now, um, radio reignition, like the stuff that they're doing underwater, like all this stuff. So lots of cool stuff. I'll put the link for this so you guys can scroll over here and I don't even think I got to scroll this way. There we go. Um, now you guys will, uh, here's the red one. Ha, found it. But you guys will be able to look at this stuff yourself and dig a little bit deeper than what I'm doing in this video. But there's the red one. That look, is looking cool. So that is it guys. If you liked the video, hit the like button for me. If you want to continue to follow along with all my content, I'm going to be doing a video just showcasing the jukebox. Um, later tonight so that you can see that in action with the little speakers and then the uh basically you find like it's almost like a cd you find little cds around that have the music on it and the music is uh i've always loved the subnautica music but uh i think they're gonna have some that are completely new and original for this and then some that are like almost like remixes of old songs or just soundtrack songs or something like that so uh, that is it guys check back soon like i said for those videos and thanks so much for watching